Hello, this is uh, Paul Krogan from South Bay in California, and my topic is why I fire coaches. Um, pretty simple stuff. A lot of you guys might know a lot of this stuff, but it's good to hear it. And uh, sometimes it's hard to fire coaches, so I uh, just want to give you a little encouragement that uh, don't feel bad doing it. You know, we're strengthening the herd by getting rid of those bad coaches, and uh, it's going to make your business a lot more uh, healthy going forward. So, um, first reason I fire coaches is publicity. A uh, bad campaign is bad publicity for us. Uh, we don't want people thinking that this 20% participation campaign is, uh, that's only raised, you know, 2,000 bucks is, is snap rates, because that's not. Um, so I always say, hey, they use the, uh, they bought the weight set, but they didn't use it. So, um, you know, it just saves us time from backtracking bad campaigns, because if I work with the softball team, they did a crappy job, then I got to explain to the baseball team, um, you know, why they did a crappy job and that's actually not snap raise and things of that sort so it's best just to eliminate those bad coaches and fire them um, and like I said strengthen the herd so time um, when you work with bad coaches it takes away the time from you not working with good coaches so um, and to be honest a lot of times bad coaches um, take up way more time than good coaches so if you're spending twice as much time with a bad coach um, as you would with a good coach, that means that you could be working with two good coaches instead of that one bad coach. So, um, yeah, make sure you're not wasting your time chasing those bad coaches, things of that sort. Um, just go ahead and fire them, strengthen the herd, move forward, and uh, go get those good coaches. Um, third reason why I don't mind firing coaches is because um, we all love what we do. We all love helping programs, all helping um, these teams and things reach their goals and. We, you know, we make an amazing impact in these programs, and when you're working with bad coaches, it's just bad, bad mojo, bad energy, and uh, something that your business doesn't need. Uh, we want to work with the best coaches, um, with the best programs, and really help those out that want to help themselves. And um, when you work with the bad coaches, you're not doing that, and you're kind of just spinning your wheels, and um, it creates doubt, creates all these kind of things that you don't need in your business because we have such a tried and tested pro uh, process that uh, there's no reason for any dealing with those bad coaches and defending you know anything you know we know our process works if coach does a terrible job it's not on us and um, so to have no problem firing those coaches enables you to work with the good coaches that you want to work with and um, it's as simple as that so um, that's a big thing but my biggest thing would uh, be don't be afraid to fire bad coaches. It's going to allow you to work with more good coaches. And um, if there's bad publicity about us, that means that good coaches potentially down the road might not want to work with us. So it is the best thing for your business to get rid of those bad coaches who are bringing you down or bringing the snap reputation in your area. So do not feel bad. Thank you. Um, if anybody has any comments on how my backyard needs some trimming, Make sure to leave it in the comments below. Leave your name on it so I know to junk punch you later. So thank you. Goodbye.